Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Football Manager 2019, and it's week 55 of the Gaming Decathlon competition. Here we are, the final week of the year. We're going to be entering year number two in the competition in just a week. Technically, we're actually already into year number two, week 55. You know how many weeks there are in a year, but since I started the channel in December a year ago, uh, we're doing that changeover or with New Year's. Anyway, so here we are. We are currently in fourth place on 30 points after 16 games, so we are almost two points per game and over the last two we had a pretty tough stretch here we had Sunderland at home but we absolutely dominated them in a 2-0 victory uh, easily could have been more and they never looked like scoring uh, outside of uh, once around the 88th minute they almost <laughs> they kind of went close but beyond that they never looked threatening uh, we had Coventry on the road and this was so close uh, had a bad game from a couple players early on. Uh, had to sub for an injury. We'll come back to that in a second. Uh, and then had to sub out Marquise, our striker, uh, as he was horribly underperforming in the game. And despite that, we were level 1-1, really 45-55. I mean, we pretty much deserved that point. And then in the final few minutes they uh, pulled out a game winner on us uh, unfortunately and we could not come away with a point uh, as we had hoped so next up we have uh, Charlton and Charlton just played a couple days ago uh, and we actually they've still got a game in hand even though they just played uh, and with that win they jumped us and Burton and Luton Town uh, to go second in the league. And we've got to play them on the road. So this is going to be a huge, huge game. Uh, especially when I am down quite a few players. So back to that injury. Uh, it's Dwight McNeil. So McNeil went down early in that last game. Uh, he was second in the player of the month. Uh, award winning here just a couple days ago. And... Uh, we are going to be out. We've got three players out injured. McNeil, uh, the the key one of that. But all four guys that have been injured here uh, are key players. One of them just back to full training uh, within the last 24 hours. And that's Shaughnessy. So Shaughnessy hopefully is available for the game. Uh, should be. And just in time, too, because uh, the additional injury to McNeil has me pretty low on my depth chart at a critical time. And you can see he's actually still <laughs> in the starting lineup. Uh, the other injuries, uh, McGugan's still out, but should be back. Uh, in a couple of months, Paul Taylor injured uh, in the during that last episode should be back in one to two weeks. Shaughnessy, the other one, also injured at the same time as Paul Taylor, uh, is now back and sees at ninety two percent. So that is good enough for me. Uh, let's go ahead and get Shaughnessy. We'll start with McNeil. Uh, but obviously that's not his position, so we have to make an adjustment here. Let's go ahead and get Whiteman out. There we go. Get him back in. And we'll have to find somebody. Presumably it's Kowomia. And Kowomia has actually played pretty well uh, in the last couple of games uh, off the bench for McNeil. And then... Uh, playing most of this last game. Uh, the goal was his. Uh, that leveled the game at one there before we ultimately lost. Uh, Nathan Cameron, 
good run of form. You can see his average rating has jumped a lot, uh, but he's also been fit enough to play a few games here. Uh, so that is huge. Uh, but of course, that high risk of injury, he could go down at any time again here. Uh, but at least he's <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, playing well at the moment. Uh, Mandeville forced into the side here, as is Cuomia. Uh Alfie May had to come off the bench for Marquise last time, as Marquise was playing terrible. You can see he's got 10 goals, but his rating has dropped. Uh, to a 6.9, so he's either really good or really bad in a game. Uh, Blair and Mandeville at least have developed a relationship. Andrew and Kuomia, Crawford and Marquise. Uh, so we're starting to see some of this emerge in the team, making them play even better together. And I think that's enough uh, changes for the side. things. Let's see if we can do a bounce back. Uh, do I have a bounce back with a win? Or oh, passion? Nothing. Uh, okay, how about the underdogs? Okay, a couple guys responded to that. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Uh, four players fired up. Uh, at least there's no negative responses. But up for the game. But uh, hey, we got what we got. So let's get this game underway. Big crowd on hand. Also a big visiting uh, crowd. This is a top matchup here in the league. Uh, as we are into the mid part of the season now. Quite to the halfway point, but certainly into the middle section. Blair, Mandeville, back out to Blair, into Marquise. That's blocked, and it comes right out for a chance for the counter, and Grant is running. And there's the takedown, Shaughnessy. Uh, almost lucky to get away with the, without a yellow on that one. Uh, shots are 1-1 here early on, 12 minutes in, and we do have the advantage on possession here, so that could uh, go. And Grant, their forward, is complacent. Uh, fatigue, they've got four guys that are already in the mid-70s. They had that game, ooh, disinterested. Uh, so whatever comment from the coach just uh, ticked off his team. There's Grant, ball taken away. Uh, called for a penalty. Called for a penalty on that one. It looks like he clearly just stepped in and cleared the ball. Great save from Lawler. Oh, that is huge. All right, uh, woo. dominating the game, and they are disinterested in, with that body language, though that time has now passed, but now you got a couple guys that are complacent and or nervous. Uh, Crawford, the ball comes across, flashes across goal, nobody gets on the end of it, and the counterattack is on. Here's Grant again, just wide, woo. dangerous in this half. Uh, we could be playing for three points. We could be playing for no points. We could be playing for one point. Anything could happen in this game. Here's Cameron in possession. Out to Andrew. Andrew's been really good lately. It's been hard to uh, get the other fullbacks into the side. Columbia, great move there. The pullback. Crawford lay it off for Mandeville. Mandeville gets the chance. Uh, maybe should have gone for the far post, but he goes near post. And keeper saves it. Columbia up to Crawford. Crawford with the header in, but it's cleared away. Just two shots here in the game so far. 40 minutes into this one. There's the yellow card for Cullen. That could be big later on. Crawford with the free kick. He sends that high over the crossbar. Shots are 4-3. to three. Like I said, this game could go any way. I think there is at least one goal in this game. It does not look like it's going to be a stalemate. Uh, Coppinger goes so close to getting that first goal of the game. Uh, just... Wide to the right post. Great interception for Coppinger. Lay it off for Columbia. Oh, you've got to score that. You have to score that kind of opportunity. And he puts that well in reach of a keeper. It did require a pretty good save. 
uh, you know, you can't put all of that on Kuomiya for missing that chance, but uh, Kuomiya had the whole goal at his disposal. Uh, any corner, and that's out of reach. Even without power. He didn't put it right down the middle, but he certainly made it possible for that save to happen. Wow. Hey, look at that. Uh, Lawler and Morosi are at 10 each right now on appearances. Uh, a little surprising that they are that even. Uh, you see just how spread out we are outside of Andrew. Uh, and even these guys. I mean, look at what we got here. Whiteman's got 12 starts. McCulloch's got 12 starts. Uh, Mason, 5 and 6 off the bench. He's been uh, a go-to there. Tommy Rowe hasn't been in in a while. Kevin's just two appearances. Uh, his second was in that last game off the bench. Or two games ago. I think it was two games ago when we were dominating Sunderland that he came in, actually. Uh, okay, you think they've been excellent. I, I do think they've played well, but this game really could go either way. So, uh, what do we have here? Well, let's be passionate, and what are my options for that? Uh, happy? Okay, well, let's do it. Let's see. Pat on the back. Ooh, and they are happy by that. Will that build confidence in them, or will they grow complacent? I doubt they'll get complacent from that, but they might. Not sure where that ball was supposed to be headed. It was going straight out of bounds if that wasn't headed away. Wright picks up a yellow card and grows complacent. Uh, one player motivated, so not quite the response we were hoping for. And Wright in danger. I may have to uh, keep an eye on him and sub him out. Ooh, big crunchy tackle. A lot of man on that. Not much of the ball. Grant allowed to continue that run, even though he played that ball way too far out in front of him. Could have been knocked away. Uh, but Grant forces a nice save out of Lawler. And Kuomia called for the foul. Lawler, another big stop. And picks that one up. Lawler's having a huge game here. His rating should be well over 7 at this point. Uh, now it is seven finally, but uh, it's weird that they don't give out high ratings for goalkeepers until you get pretty much to the Premier League. And I find that strange that you get very little variation uh, in the goalkeepers' ratings at this level. Who inspired feedback for the other team? I think we might need something here. We're an hour in now, Andrew. Chance for the overlap, but he had to come back for that ball. Here's Crawford. Columbia cuts inside. Nice move. That was a much better play than uh, earlier. Uh, the ball ends up going pretty much to the same spot where that other one went. And look at that. 7-7 seven, seven on the shots. We do have almost 60% of the possession. Both teams with four on target. Long ball ahead and running. Fosu. Lawler, another big stop. Part of that was on the man, though, as that shot. Uh, now, it's time that I put something in the shot-wise. Uh, let's go with Encourage. Oh, big takedown in the box. No man on that. There was no ball. Oh, there is a penalty called for it. Okay. I was going to say that was all man, no ball. And Mandeville. Why is Mandeville taking the free kick? Is he my free kick guy? Oh, look at his rating just plummet there. We're going to pause here. Uh, what the heck just happened? Is he a good penalty taker? I was finishing with a 13. Uh, penalty taking is a 14, so Mandeville is the go-to guy, but that was a terrible, terrible take, but I suppose that's exactly what was deserved because Lawler came up with a huge save, and look at that. See, he gets a 7.4 for that save. What? Where is Law Lawler's been huge this game? Steer... He's had, he's had a really good game, too, but how is his rating so much higher? Uh, okay, I've got some guys fired up by the feedback now, the encouragement, and they are now frustrated, uh, apparently by the call, I would... No, by the feedback. Ooh. Okay, uh, well, Mandeville, after screwing that one up, his rating is 
down the chutes, but do I have anyone to put in? Alfie May, maybe? Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, so we're going to sub in Alfie May uh, because even though he is composed, uh, he is... Uh, I'm supposed to make a change, right? When <laughs> ratings are that bad. Uh, so we'll put Alfie May over on the left wing, Columbia to the right wing now. That means Marquise is going to go to the finish because I no longer have a striker. Uh, let's see. Who else do I have? Whiteman is available, so there's an option. McCulloch is available, but Joe Wright was fired up by the feedback, so we'll leave him on for now. Let's get back to the game here. 75 minutes in. I don't want to change the tactics. The other tactic not necessarily working. Oh, right is back to complacent here. And his rating is bad. Let's go ahead and bring in McCulloch for right. Uh, he does have that yellow card. I don't want to risk him going down. But that also takes away my option to go to the 5-3-2 unless I bring in Mason as the third center back. Uh, Crawford is pretty tired and not having much of a game. Let's go ahead and Ooh, Crawford free kick. Marquise! The goal! Oh! oh, it's disallowed. Offside. <laughs> what? Is he offside? Yes, he is. He is offside. Correct call. Great run. That was a phenomenal play, but it does not go. Uh, we're going to make that final sub. Uh, Marquise picks up a yellow here, and let's bring in Mason for uh, Crawford to see out the final seconds of this game. 40 seconds to go. Can we hang on for a nil-nil draw? I did not see this game going nil-nil. Uh, Columbia gets a clearance there. Final seconds, five seconds to go. Last chance here, and we are on the defensive. Cameron heads it away. That should do it. No, the ref lets it. Let's play go on, but the ball goes out of bounds. Goal kick. We get a point today. Big point on the road. Where is that final whistle, though? There it is, finally. And one point earned. Well earned point. Uh, it could have been three. It could have been zero. Uh, Mandeville, though, garbage uh, on the mist. <laughs> uh, Lawler, though, best performer. Both keepers. Wow. Lawler should have had a better rating than 7.2. Uh, Cameron was big again today. Andrew had a big game. Uh, Coppinger had a big game. Shaughnessy comes back from injury and was non-existent. This is the first time I've mentioned his, game, his name all game long. Uh, but we're going to go passionately and... Uh, well done to prove them wrong. Great result. Uh, we do slip to fifth place, only getting one point. Charlton slips to fourth as both uh, Burton and Lutontown get the wins. Portsmouth starting to pull ahead in the league here a bit. Uh, but we are still in contention. So this is... This is good for us. We are 9-4-4 four, and four now. Uh, so just four losses on the season. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, in January, I could start to pull in a couple low-knee players uh, to boost the squad a bit more. Oh, no. Swansea, what's going on? Graham Potter fired. Oh, I, I wish I could name him uh, to give him credit, but I, I was watching a, a, a YouTube clip here recently on 100 years uh, into the future, and Swansea had won a number of Premier League championships, and I loved that. That was awesome uh, to see that they had that level of success. Uh, so next up we have Eastleigh. Uh, this should be an easy, easy win for us as Eastleigh is quite a few divisions below us, but it is our first game of the FA Cup. 
and for that very reason I am more than happy to go ahead and air that one. Uh, we will be going down in uh, down the bench a little bit at least uh, on who plays. We'll see how quickly I can get there. We've got a whole week to cover here. Uh, ouch, the Wolves. <laughs> They're under 18. It's just beat us 4-0. But if you got a Premier League side versus us, it's kind of understandable. Speaking of Wolves, they are doing fantastic this season. What are they in? Seventh? Eighth? One point behind Manchester United. And speaking of Manchester United, I am a Manchester United fan. Uh, but it has been a very, very difficult three seasons for me because unlike a lot of people, I did not feel that the special one was special at all. Uh, in fact, for many, many, many years, uh, especially seeing him uh, when he was at Chelsea, uh, I strongly, strongly felt that Josie Mourinho was one of the worst managers in the game if not the worst. Uh, when it came to his attitude, I certainly felt he was the worst. Uh, I mean, could he manage a team better than me? Certainly. But uh, for the level, just the antics, the attitude, just horrible. Uh, and I was so glad to see the last three years that Manchester United did not uh, give in to his demands to cheat, to play for the foul at every opportunity. Uh, seeing Chelsea do that and Hazard do that was just disgusting. Uh, to see someone breathe near him and him hit the deck and fake injury time and time again and to get penalties all day long that were undeserved. Uh, anyway, Ben Whiteman, now comfortable dictating tempo of game. Uh, so that is an excellent uh, addition for a hip. And speaking of, let's see. Mason, forward whenever possible. Sure, let's train you in that. Homegrow players update. Uh, this was such a big deal in uh, my last season playthrough with the FM18. Uh, as I made multiple advancements in just a couple of years and suddenly I found found myself playing in the league with no homegrown players. <laughs> uh, that was really, really frustrating. Uh, let's go with Cameron. Passionate. Uh, dramatically improved. There we go. And let's go with Coppinger's played well. Uh, we're going to be calm here, though. Uh, your form has been integral. Keep it going. There we go. And Andrew, well, let's go with the same message. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> McCulloch, luckily it's just a day or two. Uh, wear and tear. But Paul Ditt, Taylor should be back soon. That's big, but without McGugan and McNeil, that hurts, especially McNeil. McNeil has been our best player by far since joining the side. Charlton picks up a point there. Two players called up, same guys. Uh, McCulloch, even though he's hurt. Uh, we also have the uh, the EFL trophy right after uh, with the Arsenal under 23s. As I think we're getting the second half underway. Okay, under 18s get a win there. Uh, I want to glance here. I thought we already played. Oh no, we didn't. Uh, we 
Let's see. We beat Wimbledon, and we lost to Luton. Okay, so we haven't played Arsenal under 23s yet. Uh, and they are 0-2, surprisingly. Very surprisingly. I mean, it's, it's Arsenal. <laughs> I know it's their under 23s, but they should have enough quality to see us off. That's very surprising. Uh, oh, but it's away. That could be why. Uh, are we at home for this upcoming game? Okay, I, I suppose that's a factor. We're home for all three. Or they're away for all three. Okay, so we're still sitting in fifth place here. Uh, nobody has a game in hand anymore. Everybody's played 17. Which, with as many teams as there are in the league, we still have a little ways to go to get to the halfway point in the season. Eastley, how are they doing? Uh, guess it doesn't say from here. Uh, other than that they have... Oh, I don't have... okay. That's right, I didn't activate the lowest leagues. But that means I'll have a completely fresh uh, roster, no injuries. So they'll be at their strongest. Unless they picked up any injuries in the earlier FA Cup matches, but... So I will dip a bit, but I'm not going to go too low. I mean, we are pretty heavy favorites. I'm getting any better here. A little bit. I've been training that formation for a while. Uh, we've nearly got our 4-2-3-1 all the way up again uh, after we had the additional players come in. Okay, now we should be heavy favorites here, so... Uh, there we go. We're going to have positive responses. That's good. Danny Andrew. Yes, let's go ahead and give you some praise. Uh, very pleased. There we go. Ooh, Mandeville. Why are you so far down, dude? been that long so we're gonna do an auto save moment here uh, there we go game day finally we'll have Wimbledon in the next league game after the uh, Arsenal under 23 games uh, Shaughnessy has been called up Spain under 20 oh no playing against the Spain under 21s our under-18s get another win against uh, Burton this time. And they are fourth place in the league on 21 points with six wins. So they, uh, the under-18s continue to have a strong season. McCulloch is cleared, ready to go. Uh, but he got called up, so he's going to be out in a couple days. We'll see if he plays or not. Paul Taylor's still not back, but... He's getting close. Uh, match sharpness is still at 80, so it's not like he's dipped too much in that area. So this is FA Cup round number one. So the official first round. 
after all the qualifying rounds are now out of the way. Alright, uh, so we have McCulloch is ready to go. We're going to give Cameron a day off for sure. He's going to rest. Uh, and I'm not even going to put him on the bench. Handy Butler's going to come in. Um, Rosie's going to start over Lawler. And Mason's going to start over Blair. Uh, and let's see, Rowe is going to start over Andrew. And finally give him a day off. Uh, we're going to leave in Joe Wright, though. Or maybe I save Tommy Rowe. Uh, let's go with Garrett. Garrett's going to play. There we go. And Tommy Rowe's going to play for... Uh, I don't want to dip too... I think I'm going too deep here. Uh, we're going to leave... Coppinger on. Uh... And I don't think I'm going to change anything up here either. Uh, okay, so we're going to give Andrew the day off completely. So Rose is going to be on the bench. And there you go. I suppose. As I'm already down without McNeil, uh, without Taylor. I've got to leave somebody who could score on there. So there you go. That's, that's what we're going with. That's three defenders and goalkeeper swapped out. Uh, one midfielder swapped out. And then already down two wings. So this is not exactly a B squad, but it's a it's definitely an A B squad. Alright, uh let's go with passionate. Uh go out there and make sure there's no reason. No doubt as to why we are favored here. And I have faith that they like that one, so let's jump straight in here. All right, game underway. Eastley in the blue. And they start the attack early on. They've already crossed the ball into the box here in the first 20 seconds of the game, but we cleared out easily enough. First foul committed is us. And uh, finally, we're starting to get a little bit of possession here. The number's starting to favor us. Here's Mason with a free kick. Crawford. Kuomia. Got an FA Cup ball here, a dark ball. Coppinger with the ball out to Mason. Mason with the overlap. Crawford takes the shot, but it's blocked. And it's going to go out for a corner kick. That would have been an almost certain goal if it was on target. And, ooh, keeper just, just intercepts that one. Otherwise, we would have had the easy header from close range. Two shots so far, but possession's only 50-50. So easily possessing the ball pretty well, so they're very much in this game. Here's Coppinger. Ball up to Mandeville. Back to Coppinger. It's turned over, though. And Coppinger can't intercept from Yates. Here's Mandeville, though, with the interception. And Crawford heads to Marquise. Marquise with the overlap to Colonia. Colonia is through. And he's got that tendency to kick the ball way too close to the keeper. There again with Allen with the diving uh, interception. So he's been good on that. Shots are 4-0, but possession not that strong. Uh, right now everybody is composed and focused. That's good. Uh, ratings are starting to pick up as everybody's at about a 6.8. There's no pressure on the ball at the moment, though. So what's going on, guys? Long ball, right intercepts, lays it off from Morosi. Morosi back to right. Up to Coppinger, out to Mandeville. Mandeville, long ball ahead, Marquise. What a volley. 11th goal of the season, that's why he's in the game. Uh, plus, he was in need of 
a good result. So this is good. Uh, Marquise able to dissect the center backs. They were way too wide. Allows him a little bit of space. And what a cross from Mandeville. Great job there. Uh, that was uh, probably his best play of the season so far. And now half an hour in. Shots are 8 nothing, Six of them on target. And while we don't have a massive advantage in possession, uh, we are very much in control of this game. Crawford's shot is blocked out to Mason. Mason all the way to the baseline. Tries to pick out a man. He threads the needle, but it's cleared out. And it's nearly halftime. We're looking good so far, but with a half to play, the halftime talk could be have a big impact here either helping us hurting us or them getting fired up for that second half possession slowly grew in our favor too as we reached halftime with 61 percent all right so uh things are going well but i know you're capable of better and let's go assertively Ooh, no response Weren't that bad? Can still improve? There we go. There we go. Okay, start second half. All right, so we are fired up. That at least should counter if they uh, get a talking down to by their manager. And now we open up the second half with possession. We s reset, though. Here's Crawford. Mandeville picks up the clearance, but his shot goes well wide. Tried to curl it back in, but just started too far wide. Coppinger lays off for Mason. Mason had a lot of chances today on those. Mandeville's shot is blocked and goes straight out of bounds. A beeline, that was a hard ball heading straight that way. Here's Mandeville, lays it off for Mason. Mason's cross is blocked. Allowing the chance for a counterattack, but we easily pick up the ball there. Here's Kuomi, a nice ball to Crawford, and Crawford scores. And that will do it 2-0. They're not going to come back with a half an hour to play in this one, so it's looking pretty comfortable at this point. I might even go further down the depth chart if I can. Crawford, great first touch. Goes with the inside of the foot, and actually straight into the back of the net. Keeper should have done better. Uh, that was a pretty savable ball. Uh, and for some reason, Eastley's goalkeeper, his rating, does not plummet after that. Uh, so, Butler is one to get in, Tommy Rowe is one to get in, and Chemis or May. So those are the four potential players to bring into this one. Uh, Chemis has barely played, and Coppinger is on 74%, so we'll start right there. Uh, Crawford is another one to sub out and rest. He's already at 75. Maybe we go for both guys. Uh, let's see uh, what Quinn would do. Mandeville can play center. So uh, we are going to go with Crawford's out. Let's switch these guys. And then we'll switch these guys. So totally shuffling around the uh, offense as May comes to the left wing. Columbia is going to go to the right wing. Mandeville is going to move into the center. in support of Marquise, who's still on the pitch, but now with May already on, I don't have another sub for Marquise. Marquise with a chance there, gets the open header. Uh, he is marked, but the, the header was not contested. Whiteman picks up a yellow, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, though some guys are starting to get dis May disinterested. Really? You barely play. I get you into a game, and you don't care about the game you're playing. Oh, Marquise, ball chested right back to the defender. Just couldn't control it. Whoa, what a, what a ball. What a ball. Phenomenal. Phenomenal there. And Morosi screws this one up, though, because he should have uh, either punched it away or defended. He runs clear across and gets there late. 
nice finish from Zabrowski, uh, but that was largely on the cross. That's our first shot of the game. And they nearly level the score. They cut the lead in half. Another chance, and Morosi, this time, stands still and does absolutely nothing. Uh, demand more. Now we might have to sub in an attacking way. Columbia gets that one in. Marquise can't win the header, though. Kemis, Whiteman. Kemis here. Finds some space, but May loses the ball. Uh, May might get subbed out here, and we trail. We trail. Are you kidding me? Uh, very attacking. Of oh, the demand more just now. Okay, now there's a great goal from Tyler Garrett. Tyler Garrett, what a phenomenal goal that was. Just when things are looking desperate, we might have a replay uh, after this debacle. Uh, Allen should have done better. That was straight to him. Uh, that was a bullet, but it was straight to him. Uh, and now we are calm and focused. Here's Mandeville, and there's Columbia off the corner kick. He would have been offside. However, it's a corner kick, so he's not offside. And Columbia comes off the line where he's trying to shield the keeper from seeing what's going on and heads that one in to save the game. We're going to drop back to cautious. Uh, and let's use our final sub, uh, Andy Butler, for Mandeville and then switch to the we'll do that first and then as soon as I can we'll switch to the 5-3-2 or 5-3-1 ooh what's going on here free kick Johnson a second yellow a second yellow here Okay, the free kick goes into the wall, so it doesn't make it in. Six minutes of stoppage. Wow. What the heck? What, because there were six subs and a red card? There was no time lost on that red card. Uh, but four minutes already gone by, so two minutes to go. Garrett with cross to no one. Whiteman's got the ball. Finds the open man, Columbia, and Marquise. Free header cannot get anything but the slightest of touches on that one. And Butler lays that off for McCulloch. Here's Garrett minute 15 to see this one out and no pressure no pressure at all Columbia the cross clear it out Zabrowski who's had a phenomenal game here now right uh, Columbia throw in 30 seconds here's Mason lays it off for Chemist Chemist great job drawing the foul here's Mason eating up time there's 96 minutes gone by Come on, whistle. Come on, whistle. That was a waste, but time should be gone. And yes, there's the full-time whistle. On just three shots, Easley gets three goals. Morosi with a terrible, terrible performance. We get 21 shots, 11 on target, and luckily we come from a goal behind to secure the victory and move on to the second round of the FAA Cup. By the way, the team demands that we make it to the third round. So, uh, phew, as in like, phew. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.